Hey everybody, video here for you today. And just looking over some of my comments, apparently people don't like me being honest and expressing my opinions on things, but uh, that's the way I will always be. But I will always comment on the BS that we have been taught about our past, no matter where it comes from. And ancient history is just a bunch of possibilities, but the few things I have looked into and I am adamant about, I will always stand up to a little cross-examination for a debate on the subject. That's what a good researcher uh, will do and should do. But there are very few things I speak out on, just things that are impossible. But, but today I'm going to talk about a site that I found most interesting. And Columbia is a region that I've just mentioned maybe in a couple of videos. Never done a video on an ancient spot in Columbia. But today we are flying into place that I find most interesting called the Lost City. And this is the ancient site of Ciudad Perdida, and that's how I'm going to pronounce it, but that in translation simply means the Lost City. But this place right here, and just about 10% of it, has been uh, excavated. But this place was discovered, rediscovered in the 70s, but it was never really lost because of the native inhabitants of this area always knew about the site. The site always seemed to be sacred. How difficult is this to get to today? Well, it's about a 50 kilometer hike. I think it's about uh, 20 plus miles. I can't remember the exact distance, but there are four base camps that you have to hike to on the way here, and it takes four days to hike to. This is in an extreme location. Only 10% of this place has been excavated. And if you really look around here on Google Earth, this is really cool, I think. But I spent some time here the other night just looking around, and you can see a lot of stuff right under the vegetation in this region here. But you can see some what appears to be ancient walls, too. And uh, this looks very interesting in this region up here. But there was a vast civilization living here, and I just don't think a lot has been brought forward as far as a real explanation of how far maybe back this goes. But we're going to go down here, and we're going to actually take a look around on Google Earth. And I'm going to finish this with just about a four-minute uh, little video set to music. But let's go down and take a look at the lost city here. Now here seems to be a very important ceremonial center here, a feature of the Lost City. This is an area that has been excavated, but you get an idea of how difficult this would have been to build. These circular platforms were built up and then filled in with stone or material from the mountain, I guess, this is the story here. But, you, but here you see how these circular structures are kind of built up. And then they kind of form a stairway, and most of this hill here seems to be artificial. This, the way it's all covered by trees, but there seems to be a hill here. It reminds me a tiny bit of Gunang Padang here. There is just stonework all over this area. Let's just exit here and take a peek from overhead. But this seems to be an important area of the Lost City. But you see, these circular stone features are found... You can even see them on Google Earth, but they are all over this region, and you could see probably maybe hundreds more if the vegetation wasn't covering this area, but they are all over here. And let's just go down and take a peek at another area here. But this just takes a huge effort just to get here, but the people that came here in the 70s, and this has been an area that was uh, kind of uh, dangerous to get to, but I guess in the last 10 years, this has become a pretty safe area, and a lot of people make the four-day trek into this lost city. I just found this place about a week ago, and I know if I hadn't heard of it, I know a lot of you guys haven't heard of it either, so I wanted to make this video. Now, here is some of the stonework, and you get an idea of how massive this is, and if the vegetation wasn't here, we might see a lot more of it. But I haven't seen anything megalithic like you see at uh, Machu Picchu, for instance, that the Inca built over stuff that appears to be very ancient and very large or extremely well made but still who made this and when well the line on this place is very generic 
it seems like there was a story put in who built this and then nobody has really challenged it here is wikipedia and this information just appears to be repeated on other websites it says ciudad perdida spanish for lost city is the archaeological site of an ancient city in columbia sierra nevada de santa marta it is believed to have been founded about 800 of the current era some 650 years earlier than machu picchu and that is the standard line on machu picchu that it's a very recent site and we have seen the stonework there and that appears to be highly disputed just based on what we find there but when was a lost city built it says it was discovered in 1972 when a group of local treasure looters found a series of stone steps rising up the mountainside and followed them to an abandoned city which they named green hell or wide set when gold figurines and ceramic urns from the city began to appear on the local black market, archaeologists headed by the director of the Institute of Columbian Anthropology reached the site in 1976 and completed reconstruction between 1976 and 1982. So there was some reconstruction done up here. It says, members of the local tribes have stated that they visited the site regularly before it was widely discovered, but had kept quiet about it. It was always sacred to these people it seemed they called the city teyuna and believed it was the heart of a network of villages inhabited by their forebears the Terona. so it says the lost city might have been built in the last 1000 years but the local inhabitants say the Terona are the people who built this originally but the Terona, it says Genetic and archaeological evidence shows a relatively dense occupation of the region by at least 200 BC. And then it says pollen data compiled in the 1980s show the site might have been used all the way back to 1200 BC. And then it says the Colombian Caribbean coast might have been populated by as early as 4000 BC. So how old is the lost city well i think that's a big question and it hasn't been properly analyzed by people who are going to raise the right questions that's just the way it seems to me it says ciudad perdita consists of a series of 169 terraces carved into the mountainside a net of tiled roads and several small circular plaza the entrance can only be accessed by a climb up some 1200 stone steps through the dense jungle area is now completely safe but was one time affected by the colombian armed conflict between the colombian national army and if you hear noise in the background they're working on the roof sorry about that it says right-wing military groups and left-wing guerrilla groups like the national liberation army and revolutionary armed forces of colombia on september 15 2003 uh, ELN kidnapped eight foreign tourists visiting Ciudad Perdida, demanding the government investigate investigation into human right abuses in exchange for their hostages. And those people were released. And it says in 2005, tourist hikes became operational again. And there have been no problems since. So it seems a pretty gutsy four-day hike just to reach the site, but well worth it. And here is some of that stonework again. And this seems to be an important stone feature to be a ceremonial altar. And I think I read one place where it was in representation of a frog. Now here's one of the golden artifacts that was found here. And I guess a lot of this ended up on the black market. And when you have the government getting involved and then artifacts and found on the black market later, it all becomes kind of murky. But documentation, obviously, maybe not the best here. How far back does this go? Who knows? Here are some more of those golden artifacts. Remind you of some other figurines that you find in South America. But this story gets a little murky, but present day preservation of the site seems to be safe. But how far back does this go? I think it's a big question mark. And here is another look with that stonework and then the present day population living around here but it just seems this site was so secretive and these people just always knew about it in the modern world kind of stayed away until it was safe to get here or at least possible to get here but this stonework is just carved throughout the whole region around this site 
and it's pretty fascinating to me. But if you look on Google Earth, these circular features are found just throughout the area. There are some peeking out, some not, and then this is the main part of the city here. But I was glad to give you a look around this ancient site, and I really encourage you to look around here. We have ruins right under the canopy that can be seen on Google Earth. We have ancient long walls, but I really encourage you to look in this area. And here you see just what appears to me to be a huge network of very ancient walls, and not a lot of exploration has gone on here for obvious reasons. But there appear to be walls in this area and ruins all the way through the mountainside here, an area very tough to get to, four-day hike. Those of you who like to use Google Earth, well, Google Earth away on this area, you will find stuff that maybe not a lot of people have ever seen before. But I'm going to take you out with just a short four-minute video. It's a little tough to make steady videos when you're exploring on Google Earth, but this will give you a look around the Lost City. Hope you thought this was interesting. This is what my channel is all about. New sites for you to see. Good looks. Blunt opinions. Hope you thought this was interesting. You all have a very nice day.